Hi, I'm Ben from PenBoutique.com, and today we'll be talking about all things Pilot Vanishing Point, how it works, what it's like to write with, its history, how you fill and clean it, and how it stacks up against its competition. The Pilot Vanishing Point, or Pilot Capitalist, is unique in that its point vanishes when not in use, uh, and it has no cap. To extend or retract the nib, you click the button on the back like a retractable ballpoint. The knock of the mechanism is strong, sharp, and satisfying, and uh, it's extremely reliable. Another thing about the Vanishing Point's design that sets it apart is that it seems to work upside down. Uh, one might, on most pens, uh, capless or otherwise, the clip is situated on the opposite side of the pen from the nib or point. Uh, this is presumably meant to keep the clip out of the way when you're writing, but uh, the vanishing point actually integrates the clip into the grip. Uh, towards the top, the clip has this uh, indent that provides a space for your thumb and forefinger if you're holding the pen in a proper tripod grip. Um, and this is actually one of the more controversial uh, aspects of the vanishing point, as if you don't hold your pen like this, it's rather uncomfortable. Um, beyond enhancing, or ruining, depending on your stance, the grip of the vanishing point, the upside-down clip makes the vanishing point far safer for shirts, pants, and bags. Uh, with a traditional capped fountain pen, it's hard to clip it to your shirt without noticing the caps not on the nib. Um, once you put the cap on, it's also not going anywhere. With the, retract with the retractable nib design, um, if the clip was on the side of the pen where the nib is not, you would be able to insert the pen into your pocket, nib down, without seeing that the nib was necessarily extended because it's so small. Also, while it's, situ while it's in your pocket, it's possible for this uh, button to get jostled such that the nib would extend and immediately ruin your shirt as uh, the nib directly contacts with the fabric of uh, whatever you happen to be wearing. Um, by putting the clip on the far side, you eliminate this problem by, one, making it uh, much more difficult to accidentally jostle the button by protecting it in the pocket, but also uh, making it so should the button accidentally be jostled or should the pen be put in your pocket without the nib retracted, um, the nib's sitting upright and not necessarily directly against your shirt, uh, giving you some time to notice that it's out and put it away before any disasters happen. Um, a quirk of the Vanishing Point's retractable nib is that it's especially pop that makes it especially popular among the globe-trotting fountain pen enthusiast crowd is its airplane friendliness. The Vanishing Point is really indifferent to changes in air pressure in general, which is impressive because it's one of the things fountain pens traditionally really struggle with. When an airplane ascends, the air pressure in the cabin decreases. This means that uh, the quantity of air that occupied a certain amount of space on the ground will now occupy a certain larger amount of space in the air. Um, because, I mean, this happens with all kinds of trapped air. Anything that's in a chip bag or a balloon or a reservoir of fountain pen ink. Um, because the reservoir does not expand when the air inside of it does, something has to go, uh, and typically that something is ink. Um, and with a cap, this ink ends up in your cap. And when you try to uncap your uh, fountain pen after you've landed, you discover that you've just ruined a pair of pants because you've poured out a whole cap of ink on them. Um, the vanishing point, for reasons I don't fully understand, has no such problems. Uh, when you land, you know, it's not an issue at all to pick up a pen. Uh, it might have some ink on the nib, but not such that it would create a mess. And uh, immediately start writing with it as if nothing had ever happened. Um, I can personally attest to the reliability of uh, the vanishing point under challenging pressure conditions as I took my vanishing point up Mount Kilimanjaro with me and wrote with it every day. And after doing 2,000, 4,000 feet of vertical in a day, uh, it wouldn't even, I mean, it would not even have the slightest issue uh, writing with consistent ink flow 
and uh, I never got ink on anything. Uh, the Vanishing Point's nib unit is rather unique, but definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it comes all the way out for filling and cleaning. Uh, you To remove it, you unscrew this center section, and then just slide the nib all the way out. Uh, this integrated nib unit uh, basically has everything that does writing with the pen, uh, from the nib to the feed to the uh, cartridge or converter. Uh, it actually comes with a converter, a, a standard you know, pilot piston converter, and should you want to use cartridges, you're going to have to get uh, you know, the proprietary pilot cartridges. Um, the nib itself is a uh, 18 karat um, and plated in whichever color the hardware of your pen happens to be, in this case gold. Um, it writes actually very well. Uh, it's extremely smooth and the um, feed is incredibly consistent and uh, pleasant to write with. Um, the Vanishing Point comes in two sizes, the regular size and uh, the Decimo. The Decimo is the same length but ever so slightly slimmer, which is better if you are a, uh, if you have small hands or you prefer a smaller, you know, grip section uh, for extended writing. It's really a matter of personal preference. Uh, the only differences between them as most of the styles are available in both sizes and uh, the nib unit is exactly the same in both are uh, a nominal decrease in the price for the decimo. It retails for about ten dollars less um, and it says decimo very small on the uh, clip. Uh, 